Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.37 from the chapter number 4. Okay, the problem is implement the following boolean functions with a 4 into 1 multiplexer and external gates. Okay, that means we are given with two boolean functions in sum of min terms expression. And we have to realize these functions using single... 4 into 1 multiplexer and external gates okay there is no constraint about which type of external gate you can use you can use any type of external gates but you have to use only one 4 into 1 multiplexer to realize these functions then we have some explanation how to implement connect the input ports a and b to the selection lines okay that means we have to make a and b the inputs a and b to the selection line inputs for the 4 into 1 multiplexer so 4 into 1 multiplexer will have two selection lines because it has four input the two selection lines will be connected to a and b inputs then the input requirements for the four data lines will be a function of the variable c and d and the input ports will have a function of the c and d that will be connected these values are obtained by comparing f that is comparing the output as a function of the c and d we have to compare the output function with c and d inputs and we have to express the output function f in terms of c and d okay for each of these cases for a b equal to 0 0 we have to consider 1 and for the next one will be for a b equal to 0 1 okay that is a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 and next case will be 1 and 0 and then 1 and 1 okay that means we will have four cases from that we have to find out the output relation with c and d output function f in terms of c and d Okay, the functions may have to be implemented with external gates with connections to power and ground. Here power means one value and ground means zero. Now let us uh, now let us realize these functions. So first of all, let us make the truth table and from that we will find out the input and output relationship. So we have inputs. Inputs are A, B, C and D. Output is f so here we'll have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 so this will be one case okay that is a b equal to 0 0 because in the question it is given that we have to consider separately for a b equal to 0 0 then 0 1 then we have to consider 1 0 and then we have to consider 1 1 okay so this will be the first case okay where a b equal to 0 0 the next combinations will be 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 here we have a b equal to 0 1 the next inputs will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 okay here we have a b these are a b equal to 1 0 and the last case will be 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 okay here we have a b equal to 1 1 so this is the mean terms expression so if any one of this has a value 1 the output will be 1 so let us write down the values output function values so sum of 1 1 means this one so it will be 1 then we will 3 1 3 then we have 4 11 12 okay 11 is this one 12 13 14 and 15 so these are one values and the remaining will be 0 0 0 0 then we have 0 0 0 now we have made the truth table now we have to express this output function in terms of c and d as per the question so this f and c we can see that f is similar to or same to this input d whenever d is 0 f is 0 d is 1 f is 1 d is 0 f is 0 d is 1 f equal to 1 so you can write it as f equal to d now for the next case output function f will be equal to c bar d bar okay because we are writing c bar d bar because uh, whenever c bar means c bar means this will be 1 d bar is 1 1 into 1 will be 1 okay c bar means 1 d bar means 0 1 into 0 will be 0 and similarly for the others that means you have to carefully observe this c and d values in terms of 
okay these outputs how they are related okay c bar d bar means we can write it as using de morgan's theorem c plus d whole bar that is this is the nor operation then for this th third case we will have if we write f equal to c d what we will get c d means 0 into 0 it is 0 0 into 1 it is 0 0 1 into 0 is 0 and 1 into 1 is 1 okay that means this c and d are related to the output f in terms of n operation okay so c d and for the last case f equal to we can see that all the output values are 1 so we can directly write it as 1 so we have got this output relationships now let us draw the circuit okay we will have 1 4 into 1 multiplexer okay so suppose this one is 4 into 1 multiplexer okay so here we will have two select lines s1 and s0 they will be connected to a and b as given in the question and we'll have four inputs 0 1 2 3 and we'll have one output this is y and this is f okay the output is denoted by y okay and we have output is f here c and d c and d these are the supposed two inputs okay first of all f equal to d so d will be connected to 0 0 port okay d will be connected to zero port so for one first port we have nor operation between c and d so we have for the second port we have this nor operation c plus d whole complement this is or this is nor whole complements it is nor operation okay so you say x nor get okay so and these two will be the inputs c and d and for tools we have c into d so take a line from c okay you say n get here so here we'll get c d and for the last one we have f equal to one okay so directly connect one to this fourth input so this is the logic circuit using a four into one multiplexer and external gates these are the external gates one x nor gate and one n gate okay now let us go to our second part of the problem so in the second part we have f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sum of one two four seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen and fifteen okay so this is the given function now similar to the previous case we have to make the truth table so inputs are a b c d and the output is f so here we'll have similar to the previous cases we have to write the input combinations now let us fill up this uh, sum of min terms expression in the output okay so whatever be the terms present here that will be one here at this output one two four 1, 2, 3, 4, then we have 5, 6, 7, okay, then we have 8, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, all the rest of the values will be 0, so 0, 0, 0, 0, then we have 0, 0 okay now let us express these outputs in terms of c and d so in the first case we'll have this is nothing but 0 1 1 0 this is the xor operation between c and d so because you can see that it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so it is the xor operation between c and d so c xor d for the next case we have 1 0 0 1 this is xnor operation between c and d okay so we'll write c xnor d in the third case all the outputs are 1 so f equal to 1 and in the fourth case we can see that it is similar to it is same as d so whenever d is 0 f is 0 whenever d is 1 f is 1 d is 0 f is 0 d is 1 f equal to 1 so we can write it as d now let us draw the logic circuit using 4 into 1 multiplexer so 4 into 1 multiplexer here we have two select lines S1 and S0. A and B are connected here to the select lines. And these are the input lines, four input lines 0, 1, 2, 3, 
this is y output line this is output f so we have to connect as per this given condition so that means the zero port will be connected as c xor d so c d so you say xor gate here okay and c and d will be the inputs c xor d so for one port we will have c xor d okay so take a line from c okay take a line from d use xnor gate that is xor with a bubble okay and this will be connected to one port then we have for the third one we will have f equal to one okay so one will be that is the power will be connected here and the last case we have f equal to d okay so take a line from d and connect to this fourth port so this is the circuit diagram or logic circuit of the given expression Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.